So then, with the January transfer window now open, it's fair to say there hasn't actually been that many rumours for Leicester so far this window at all. However, over the past couple of days, it's been heavily reported that Leicester striker Islam Slomani could be on his way to French side Lyon. And it's also been reported that Manchester City fullback Alexander Zinchenko could make a move to Leicester this January. In today's video, we'll be discussing all of that as we get into the first video of the January transfer window. Yes lads, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today I'm going to be discussing Islam Samani's possible transfer to Leon this January and also the potential move of Alexander Zinchenko to Leicester City this January. But just before we get into all of that, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, want to see some more transfer videos like this over the period of the January transfer window. Also subscribe to my face on your screen before we are well on the road to 2,000 subscribers here. If you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Also turn on my channel post notifications so you guys never miss any future videos on the channel just like this one follow me on my social medias links to them will be in the description down below go through my instagram snapchat and twitter all links there will be in the description down below let me know your thoughts on these possible transfers in the comment section down below but yeah without further ado let's get into today's video <music> So then, let's start off by talking a bit about Islam Samani then and his possible transfer move to Leon this January. It's been heavily reported that the deal is very, very close to completion and I think it is about time Islam Samani finally leaves Leicester City on a permanent basis. Of course, the Algerian international arrived at the King Powell Stadium in the summer of 2016. We splashed the cash and yeah, it's fair to say the transfer didn't really work out too much to be honest. At the time, it was a record signing. He played about one season and since then, he's been on loan to teams like Newcastle, Monaco and a lot more teams and it's fair to say his move to Leicester has not really worked out at all. I think it's about time Samani does leave Leicester for good just for his career in general to be honest. It's a bit, it's a pain for him just to be continuing to keep getting loaned out and to be honest, is he going to get into the squad now? Probably not. Of course, we still have Vardy up front but he's not going to be the, the replacement for Vardy at all. He doesn't suit the style of play and it's it's pretty obvious that Brennan Rodgers doesn't really see him in his plans going forward. So yeah, I think it's time for Islam Samani to go. It's time to go. And it looks like that the move for Islam Samani will be completed in the next couple of days. Very, very reliable journeys for Rizzi Romano. Here we go has said that the deal will, will be completed in the next couple of days with, with the medical happening in the next couple of days. Yeah, this deal looks all but confirmed and it looks like Islam Samani will be on his way to Lyon in Ligue 1. Overall, I think this transfer will be a good one for Islam Samani because he has been on loan into the French League for Monaco over the past couple of seasons. So I think he will do decent in the league. The only real big neg negative on this deal is that Samani will be going on a potential free transfer, which, you know, we bought, him for, we bought him for about 30 million and he's going to be going on a free, which, you know, it's not that good for Leicester considering how well we, we usually do in the business. But yes, fair to say, this transfer has not really worked out for Samoani to Leicester. In his first season, he did quite well, but since then, yeah, yeah it has not gone great for Islam Samoani at all. So yeah, it looks like he will be going on, on a free deal and that could be the end for Islam Samoani. But the only positive is that his wage bill will finally be cut at the King Powell Stadium. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not too sure what wage he's on, but I think it will be pretty high. So yeah, that, overall, I think I'll just, just save Leicester some money. And overall, I think the transfer will will be quite good. Obviously, Samani isn't the best of plays. He's, 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 he works best in the, in the European leagues and I think he will perform quite well in the French league as well. So yeah, just for the, just for the sake of Islam Samani as a player, I think I think Leon will be the perfect move for him. It looks like that Islam Samani will be straight into the first team at Leon with, with their main striker looking to depart to Atletico Madrid. So yeah, this is the reason why this transfer has came around. I think it's Dembele who's going to be moving to Atletico Madrid in place of Diego Costa and the, and the replacement for Leon will be Islam, Islam Samani, which to be honest, I don't really know what, why they're doing that. But yeah, fair enough. He can have him finally. Somali can go, but yeah, it'd be good for Somali. I hope he does perform well in, in Ligue 1, and I think he will. So he's coming to, to, to the latter ages of his career, so hopefully, he can end it off well. But yeah, overall, we felt Leicester did not work out at all, and I think it is about the time that Islam Somali finally leaves Leicester City this January transfer window. <laughs> Right then, let's move on and let's speak a bit about Manchester City's left-back Alexander Zinchenko. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this one is probably not going to happen, but there has been a few reports saying that Zinchenko could be on his way to Leicester this summer. There has been some reports saying Manchester City will be looking to, to let go of the fullback. A number of different Premier League clubs have been interested and one of them being Leicester City. This transfer seems a bit of a weird one in my opinion. Obviously, at fullbacks for Leicester, we are very, very strong with the likes of Ricardo, Castanio, James Richardson, and Luke Thomas all in there. So, they really see the need of signing Zinchenko. However, Zinchenko is a very, very vital versatile player. He was previously a winger. I think he can play midfield as well, but of course Pep Guardiola at Manchester City has converted him into a fullback and he's he's done, he's done a decent job at Man City, but he's not getting consistent first in football and that is the reason why Man City could, could be letting the, the Ukraine go. See, a number of different Premier League clubs are interested, so it will, it will be 
be tough for Leicester to get Zinchenko. And realistically, if he does join Leicester, is he going to start? Probably not, but he is a decent player. But with the fullbacks Leicester having James Justin, who's his K1 leaks and balances, obviously Ricardo Castagna, Luke Thomas, who's also good as well, it would be very tough for Zinchenko. The only other reason why I see this transfer going ahead is due to his vers versatility. I think he can play midfield, like I said, he could play on, on the wing as well. So that could be a slight reason why. But overall, I can't really see, see this sort of happening at all. But you know, he's been linked with Leicester, so I, I, I'm going to talk about it. However, if Zinchenko was to sign for Leicester City this January, I can see the deal would be coming around 15 to 20 million pounds. Obviously, he's, he's a good fullback. He's, doing a good, he's, he's a good player at Manchester City and, and we have to respect that he's a good player and, he, and I think he will go for about 15 to, to, to 20 million pounds he's a good player he's still young and he can still make a good impact in the Premier League so yeah it's an interesting one I, I mean I, to be honest I will would I like to see Zinchenko join? It's a tough one. Make sure you guys let just just let me know your thoughts in the comments. For me, I'll probably say yeah because it just adds that extra squad depth. And if you do get an injury, just like Ricardo again, we can bring someone in just like Zinchenko and he can do well. But yeah, the, the other question regarding that is is Zinchenko going to want to sit on the bench for Leicester? That is what we have to think about. And yeah, I don't think he will. But I think he wants first team football, and that is the reason why he wants to leave Man City. Obviously, Man City still have some quality fullbacks in Cancelo and Walker and Leicester. Probably have just on par with Castagna and Ricardo, even James Justin. So yeah, I don't really know with Zinchenko, but if you, he can come in. I think it'll be a good sign, and his versatility and his versatility would help Leicester out a lot under Brendan Rodgers. But yeah, I can't really see this one happen too too perfectly. But yeah, make sure you guys let, let me know your thoughts on this possible transfer in the comment section down below. Would you guys like to see Alexander Zinchenko come to Leicester City this January transfer day? Let me know down below. So, the boys and girls, that is it for today's video. In today's video, I bring you guys the first video on the January transfer window. In today's video, of course, I discuss is Samsonani's all but confirmed move to Leon and the possibility of Manchester City fullback and Ukraine international. Or Alexander Zinchenko and his possible transfer to Leicester this summer. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on these transfers in the comment section down below. But yeah, I'm a sports fan. I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Peace, guys.